Hello, so last week the Office of the Inspector General for the Department of Defense issued a report of their audits of the network security systems for the ballistic missile defense system that's used by our military to help defend our country against missile attacks. The report indicates that there's a widespread problem with the failure to use common security controls. Some of the notable security controls that were deficient included the use of multi-factor authentication. Uh, multi-factor authentication requires that someone accessing a network resource authenticate themselves with a password plus some other type of uh, something they have uh, or something they are. So a second factor could be biometric, a retina scan, a thumbprint scan, or it could be something that the user has, such as their cell phone or RSA token or some, something like that. Uh, unfortunately, um, that hasn't been implemented. It's not required that multi-factor be used. The report further goes on to state that in some cases, uh, some users have had multi-factor authentication disabled for years. So it's asking that if anyone wants to not use multi-factor authentication, that that has to receive an exemption going all the way up to the new CIO of the DIOD, which I, I think is a good thing. There's really no reason why we shouldn't be using multi-factor authentication in our military networks. Some of the other things that were reported and identified include a lack of using physical controls. Uh, some of the server some of the server racks that had sensitive computers uh, that even had labels on them saying this rack must be locked uh, were found unlocked. Um, and these problems persist across many of the different departments, not just in one area. So this is a real concern. Uh, other things that were reported included the lack of use of encryption to secure communication between devices. Also the use of external thumb drives and other storage media uh, those drives weren't using encryption, and there's some concern over uh, the policies there with those devices. This should really be a wake-up call to our government and our elected officials to do something about this. Uh, part of what's required are the recruitment of qualified cybersecurity professionals and people that have certifications such as CISSP, Certified Information System Security Professional, and other um, Certified Information Security Auditor certs. Unfortunately, the, the government isn't really paying uh, market-based compensation to be able to recruit experts in this area. And as a result, uh, our country is really not protected the way it should be. So I'd encourage everyone to contact their elected officials, read the report, um, read the details included in my blog, and um, let's press for some change here. This is something that everyone should be behind regardless if you're Republican, Democrat, or Independent. We should want our military networks to be secure and safe, and we should certainly want our missile defense systems to protect us.